So I'm going to get this out of the way up front. Modern women, the, this generation of modern women, plus the next two to three generations to follow, have to, have to die for relationships and civilization to, um, and society to have a turnaround um, and, a re, and, a revert, and to revert back to traditional um, standards. And I say that um, in this sense. So don't go ahead, go around and say, well, you know, Seth say kill, you know, we got to go and kill, you know, all these people need to die, kill them. You know, if you're thinking that, that way, you're retarded. You're stupid and you're possibly crazy. That's not what I'm saying at all. I'm not saying go hurt anybody. I'm saying this generation and the next two to three generations need to, to die, pass away, move on. The things that's occurring now with um, with hot girl, a lot of hot girl summers and, you know, reversing roles where you're chasing the women, are chasing the bag instead of relationships, and then they're hitting the wall or then they're... Or they get to age and there's no man there because they're too old. Because men like young women and young women is looking to build careers and stuff. And then they're looking for the, because they're hypergamous, looking for the top 20% of men in this country. And you got passport bros uh, creating a revolution and just going overseas and replacing them. Uh, finding a more efficient way to start a family with fit, feminine, friendly, youthful or young women who are exotically beautiful. Um, and just completely ignoring women, uh, modern women today, um, it will be impossible to change that mindset in one generation. It'll take three to four generations to, for women, women to really catch on uh, that nobody uh, is, is, is interested in them. They're becoming invisible. Women in the United States has became, for the most part, invisible to me since traveling, uh, be, since being a passport bro. Um, you know, I, I, as I'm sure passport bros can, can testify to that or support me in this, that women, American women are really, you know, don't phase us in, or, or get any emotional whatever. Don't get us angry, don't get us sad, nothing. Because we have access to the whole world. And because we're making a certain amount of money, we might be invisible to the women here, but we're not invisible to the women in the rest of the world. Um, so I stand by that statement where I say this generation and the next three to four generations need to die. Um, while password bros are... Uh, starting from more traditional family with foreign women and reintroducing uh, uh, standard roles, traditional roles back into society. Um, it took generations for feminism to really take root, did its thing, and then, then evolve or become corrupt in a way that um, started hating men. You know, it took generations, several generations for that to occur. So it didn't happen overnight. So don't expect any of this stuff to make another change in mindset happen overnight. It's going to take generations. And it will take men and women to be vocal like we, like I'm doing right now, posting these videos, uh, talking about these things. Some people using uh, shock factor like... Uh, Kevin Samuels, may he rest in peace, and some of the other people out there um, that that talks about these things. I think Andrew Tate talks uh, to some extent about this, but he's in a whole different league of his own as far as income earners, top one half a percent in the world. Um, he's up there. So um, I personally can't relate to him, even though I understand what he's saying and some of the things he talk about. But, you know, for for um, things to go back to how it was, it'll take three or four generations. And it will take people like myself and the passport bros that's traveling overseas, 
marrying women, starting families, uh, raising them uh, to be the next generation and having that movement spread and become a revolution. Um, it will force women without us having to like directly engage them and argue with them uh, because they'll be um, hard-headed anyway uh, to any form of criticism right now, but they will have to stop and think when they realize this generation and next generation and the generation after that is uh, American women and not getting any men. And the ones they want, you know, they have to share. <laughs> um, you know, it'll take a toll and, it will, and hopefully the message will eventually um, become an epiphany for them uh, as the generations uh, pass. Anyhow, let me know what you think about that. Share, subscribe, ask questions. Um, I look forward to reading the comments on this. Y'all have a good day.